I'm not, yeah, this is top eight, is it not? Yeah. This is uh, not sure uh, the stream overlays and updated yet, but we're in top eight right now. Uh, this bracket has run incredibly quickly. I don't think anybody, the TOs or the players, expected it to be this quick. That's true. Speaking of incredibly quickly, Tybal is putting on the percentage incredibly quickly. Like, look at that. 61 to 0. 60, 69 schmuckaroos. Tybal is just going at it. Okay. Magical percent. Hey, look, when here. you put on this microphone, you can criticize, all right? <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> Yeah. Tybal is kind of foregoing the uh, traditional kinda, approach. Of yeah, he's kind of just playing Vorst's game before Vorst can play it. Uh huh. Just get in really quickly and force Vorst to react instead of the other way around. The Vorst Force. The Vorst Force, yes. I've um, I played a bunch of games with Tybal uh, Tuesday night, actually. And he, although he's really good at, you know, camping out, throwing out a bunch of projectiles, he is also not afraid mm. of going in and getting some sick bomb confirms to take the first stock of this match. Tybalt had a very low percent taking that first stock. Vorst is going to be forced to do some aggressive play, not that he was going to not do that already. Yeah, like, that's why like I can't really, wouldn't really want to pick up a zoning character. Because the main game plan is you stay away and throw stuff, and people die as they run into you. But then you get behind, and it's suddenly so much more difficult. But I'm sure Vorst won't have too much trouble with it. Knowing Vorst, he'll probably get some random dare uh, off stage to end out this first stock. He, he was looking for it. Do you see that? He was hovering he right above the ledge. For it. I'm convinced that Dar uh, Samus is Darius' favorite move in the game. Um, He's just keeping it a secret. He found it incredibly satisfying in Smash 4, and he thinks his character overall is just a lot better, uh, which mm -hmm. she is. But she's also uh, just a good character. I think other people would disagree, but... Think Samus not a good character? No, she's. No, I'd say Vorst she's has, a good character. Vorst has results with Samus, so I think anybody who talks about Samus and says she's bad clearly should just play Vorst and then lose. Yeah. Back air. Ooh, Tybal's not losing to that though. Tybal's losing to that one. And that is unfortunate. The um, but as you said earlier, he just loves going for it. Um, another thing I've noticed slash remembered here. Is the Toon Link's bomb actually like it stuffs out any projectiles that hit it? Because it's got its own hitbox. So if you throw a bomb at like a full charge um, neutral B, it'll just block out the charge shot. It'll just clash, and um, he can basically just hide behind a flurry of bombs he keeps throwing, and he's in like even less danger with the charge shot. You all just saw how many down airs Vorst put out there. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you follow him on Twitter at all, you'll know that he likes to start his combos with down air. Uh, and there was a combo that he was talking about. Uh, I believe it started with, uh, like, down throw into a, a grab or something like that. It was like a 77% combo if you have full charge charge shot. Jesus. Um, but he did say that there's no real way to confirm it. So it's like a Twitter combo. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Extremely cool. Oh! Down, down air to back air. air. That's, you know, not flashy. Gets the job done. Uh, meanwhile... Another back air. Yeah, I feel like Vorst is just starting to get out of the percent where bomb confirms... Um, like keep working. Oh, down air is just barely I'm failing to kill him. Surprised that didn't. That'll happen. do it. Is that forward air or back? Air? That's forward air, right? That was forward air. Okay. So they look so similar. Bomb fair is the most typical confirm for Toon Links. Mm -hmm. um, Tell me about. I mean, they hit you with a bomb and then they fair you, and typically you die. With back to the match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, one thing I haven't seen Tie Ball do yet. Um, not that he's doing anything wrong. It just hasn't happened. Um, the foot using. Wow. I honestly don't know if that was intentional. Um, I'm going to go with no. It's Forrest, I'll say, yeah. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen Tybal just like stand still um, and let his Hylian shield block the uh, missiles or charge shot. Um, I honestly don't know. Does it shield the explosions on that? On the missiles? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Inter I did not know that. To my knowledge, it like totally blocks I all the I thought the explosion would actually get past the, the shield because of kind of like well, an AoE type of thing. Now that you mention that, I'm not... 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it'll block missiles too. Um, but I can understand why he hasn't been doing that, because both of these guys have been moving the whole match. Um, despite Ty Bowl's incredibly strong start, um, Force has brought it back, and they're now both at a really similar point in the match. Um, Ty Bowl's got a good ledge pressure stage, though. That ledge pressure advantage stage. One thing we saw from Vorst in his set against Mad Shadow is that he's incredibly good at mixing up his recoveries, um, whether mm -hmm. that's coming in low, high, or he did this one uh, recovery against Mad Shadow where he was just stalling out. Oh! Hitting him with the up air. The bomb. Tywell got reverse bomb combo. That was 
props to Vorce for figuring that out on the fly. Because as soon as I saw that, I realized, wow, someone's about to die. Not sure who's going to do an up air, but someone is about to die. Force feeding Toon Link his own medicine there, Vorce did. Yes. His stupid Hylian explosive medicine. We'll have to see if Tybul continues with uh, Toon Link into the set or if he's going to make a switch over to uh, Ness to try and combat those charge shots. Honestly, as someone who knows the very match, little about his opinions, I think he should stay Toon Link. I think he, he, the, he's The match was very close, and it was kind of kill. Uh, he was killed mainly by... Um, luck wasn't really the deciding factor there, but the bomb was kind of a, an aspect of randomness. Yeah. That came back to bite him. That was like... Cause I mean, I, it's entirely reasonable that he didn't see that coming because that was like so. He's yeah, because trying to piece this guy. Fourth, forced screw attack into the bomb. Bomb exploded. They both got knocked up, um, sent upwards, and then he up aired. Um, and we'll see if either of these guys can pull off something crazy like that again. Going to Yoshi's story will. here. This is kind of interesting, actually. These blast zones, um, being the size they are, might actually favor. Vorst and his charge shot and his fair huh. in this case. What are the blast zones on here? Because I'm not sure. Uh, if I remember correctly, Yoshi's Story is actually one of the smaller blast zone stages. Really? I believe so. Huh. I don't know. Because I know in Melee, this is like the uber, super small stage. Uh, and because the boundaries got increased so much in this game, I guess I didn't really think about that. But it makes sense. Well, the stages in this game, yeah, are a lot bigger. But then we have stages like Kalos, which are just massive. Yeah, I. It's Kalos, man. Glad That's we're not playing that was that. counterpicked by Mad Shadow to face really? Forston. Yes, he took a Samus to Kalos. And How did the, uh, the that? Quill and I both questioned that decision. Uh, we didn't think it was something that we would take, especially with you're playing Pikachu. Uh huh? Like platform combos are probably fine with you. Albeit they're fine for Samus, but you're Pikachu. So. Yeah, like I take it he didn't didn't win that. No. That's sad. Vorst getting in with the, I believe that was back air. But that was could have been neutral air. Whatever. Her kicks are so strong. They are. It's that up air, which I remember people quoting saying the move was DLC. Samus is up air. And the up, the, the forward smash. First take yeah. Away. I wouldn't say it's DLC. It's really good. <laughs> I think it's just because it has uh, a lot of or like no knockback on it, so it leads into itself. Oh yeah, as you well can as other combos. Do up air at it. Yeah, up airs, and then also, of course, the up B is a great option. Up B at a shield for Samus is incredible. Force loves that. It's a very good option. Um, it's kind of like Crom's version, except better, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, I, I would agree, since it hits from both sides if they're close enough. It kind of just scoops them up, and then it's like a free twenty-something damage. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Oh, except Tybal actually fell out of the uh, final hits. Of the up air? Of the up B. Up, oh, of the up B. Um, the even DLC if, even up air, he just falls out. Even uh, with Cybele at 46, I'm kind of wondering if that would have killed at the top of the blast zone. That's scary. I don't want to think about it. Vorst once again delaying his recovery by just bombing himself forever. Oh. Down air, no. but it's clipping the platform oh. so it doesn't lead in. Oh, uh, now Tybele's in a real bad situation. <gasps> oh, that was a... That was a smart coverage option. Didn't hit him, but... Um, the charge Shot actually not taking it cross stage. I was like, Charge Shot's actually, like, I believe surprisingly weak if it's, like, half charged or, like, not really fully charged. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's why it's mainly used as a combo tool instead of a kill option unless it's a full charge. Huh. Vorst uh, loves to do that as, like, a, you know, you hit B and you hit it at a medium charge and then he can, like, run up dare or run up fair you. Mm -hmm. I've seen him do that quite a bit. Yeah. I'm surprised there wasn't uh, a fair there from Vorst. I don't know. I, you know, he's probably a really like mentally strong player, right? But it it points like this. It's kind of where you being you down might a start stock. to be like a bit nervous. Being yeah. down a stock, knowing that if you win this match, you win the set, and then you're done playing this guy. Um, the super missile not killing there actually. Yeah. Yeah, but just knowing that. Um, oh. The shield break. Entirely and just gonna overkill. be a full charge, charge shot here. Or an oh, he almost broke out of it. He broke almost uh, just mashed out of the shield break. Vorce probably just took the charge shot uh, just to get the opportunity to get it on deck. He'll probably end some sort of combo or just zone with yeah. it here in a second or two. Just get three uppers in a row. Oh my god. Oh, and there it is. There it, oh, he's going deep. Killed. Wow. Oh, Tybal, super smart going for the high recovery there. Otherwise, he would have been. Up he had a shield, dead. not scooping up. Huh. Dodging the tether grab right there as well. 
this whole match, he's been what really good at. Uh, Did you see that? Yeah. Samus went like completely vertical for a second. What the heck? Oh the back man, air taking it. That Force is takes such strong kicks. Force wins over Tybal 2-0. I don't know. Yeah, that was.